Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Alan Anthony from Phone Tech at Work, and today we have a special edition unboxing of the LG Wing. It has been out for a little bit now, but this is my unboxing. Big shout out to LG for sending this out to me. So let's start the video. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Pow. Alright guys, so here we have an unboxing of the LG Wing. I really wanted to get my hands on this. This is definitely a device that is different. And I do have my Galaxy Z Fold 2 still here with me guys. So if you guys want to see a comparison with the Z Fold 2 and the LG Wing, let me know down in the comments. But here's the box that they sent this in. Big shout out to them for actually sending this out to me. I got a little bit late, but better late than never, you could say. Alright, so check out the special unboxing. This has been the second one this week that has a really dope unboxing. So, so this is basically what the reviewers get, you know, like The Verge, like other YouTubers, you know, this is basically what you get out here. So if you guys didn't know, this will come out for $999. So they did actually send me a free case, design scan. I do remember... When I had something similar with the uh, the velvet, and they sent me a face mask, and I do have a TCL one too, but big shout out to LG for helping me uh, build up my face mask game. All right, so if you guys want to pick this up, the LG Wing it is in Verizon exclusive. Hopefully, it will come out later to other carriers, but for right now, you can get it at Verizon. They do have some international models, but the bands might not be perfect, but let's get right into the unboxing itself. So we have the wing up top and front, and we have the Verizon 5G logo on the right there. So if you guys want to pause this and read it for yourself, you definitely can. It's telling you what's inside the box. So we have the wing, a SIM card, Leon battery, wall, USB charger, Type-C to 3.5 adapter, SIM ejection tool and all that. But we're, we're going to see it in a minute. So let's get out little Miggy so we can pop this baby open. Looks like it's already open. Oh no, it was not actually. All right, so here you go. So this is my first impression, guys. You guys will see it the first time that I see it. So very curious to see what this is like. All right, so we have the phone up top. You can use the little pull tabs. You could drop it down. You could just hold it. It's a very tall device. That's the first thing that I'm gonna tell you guys. It's very tall. Um, this does remind me of the V60 just a little bit, just of how tall it is. All right, so we have our LG second year promise. So if you guys want to pause that, read it for yourself. Some ejection tool, and we have our regular stuff here. We have a charger, a fast charging brick. This is a really big brick, by the way. Type C to Type C. Let's see what you got in here. Is it, are these headphones? Nope. This is the adapter. So if you do want to use your 3.5 headphones, you could connect this to the phone. Big shout out to them for actually including that. A lot of companies this year did not include it, Samsung or Apple, but that's pretty cool that they included it with this one. Now, if you guys have no idea about the specs, I will leave a link down below. All right, so let's just get into the unwrapping part here. All right, so let's unwrap this baby. Let's take this little sticker off before we start talking here. All right, guys, so we are now back. I literally had to clean off the bottom there. This is a fingerprint magnet in the back, and on the front, this is tall. So my first impression is that this is a really thick device. Um, definitely... It's tall and thick at the same time, but let's do what you guys came here to see. My impression of how this works for the first time. Let's scratch. All right. So the only way that you can slide is to the left. You can't slide to the right. So you have to slide to the left. Holy, this is insane. This is like a cross. I am astounded at how this works. Look at the back there. It's pretty cool. See how that camera hump is right there. Nothing too crazy. So you have our power button to the right, and you have our volume keys up there as well. We have a nice separation between them. On the other side, you have your part where you could take out your SIM ejection tool. Now, well, your SIM tray actually with a SIM ejection tool, but 
I'm definitely going to read off some spec for you guys so you guys can see exactly what's on this device. Alright guys, so as far as the camera, we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide big pixel mode and it is available on this swivel mode. A 64 megapixel OIS wide ultra high resolution available in basic mode and we have a 13 megapixel ultra wide available in a basic mode. And on the selfie, we have a pop-up camera so it does actually pop up right there and on the front we have a 32 megapixel wide angle selfie and also when it comes to the camera you can actually slide this out and then it'll be a gimbal motion camera mode so you can actually put this in a mode called gimbal mode where you can hold it and it'll be really steady just like a gimbal so I'm definitely looking forward to trying that out let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see a demonstration of how that works Alright guys, just to break down the specs for you a little bit so you guys can understand how how this works. This is really crazy by the way. So this has a 6.8 inch OLED display, 1080p, 20x5x9 and a 60Hz refresh rate. And the secondary screen right there is 3.9 inch OLED and it does have a 1080p resolution as well. And this does have a Snapdragon 765G processor with a Qualcomm Adreno 620, 8GB of RAM, 128GB or 256GB expandable with the micro SD card slot up to 2TB. And it does have a 4000mAh battery with quick charge 4.0. Now I did actually talk about the, um, the cameras already and it, this is IP55. 54 certified protected from a limited dust ingress from any direction so that is the specs when it comes to the rundown so let's just power this baby on and see what it looks like all right all right here we go the first boot up lg wing so i really wanted to check this out because i have the galaxy z fold these are two different type of things for this year so if you guys want to see what it looks like next to the fold this is what the fold looks like next to it. Just like so. So when you swivel it out, that's what it looks like. Just two innovative phones that do something different that hasn't been seen before. I really like the look of this. All right, guys. So that's about it for the video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the LG Wing and will you be picking one up? I will have a link down below if you guys want to pick one up from Verizon. So if you guys like this video, Hit it with a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And follow Phone Tech at Work for more videos like this of the LG Wing and more tech to come. Peace and love. I'll see you guys in the next video.